This is a cellar spider, and it's rumored to have the most deadly venom of any spider on the planet, but fangs too small to use it. Well, I'm gonna put that to the test today and take a bite from this creepy little arachnid. Spiders are a source of fear for a lot of people, and when, when asked why we're afraid of spiders, a lot of people will say it's because they're creepy looking, but I wanna make the argument that it's not actually their appearance that scares us. And to prove this, picture for a second that you were walking through the woods and you walk through a spider web or you feel something creeping on your neck. You never actually see the spider, but your whole body gets that ooh feeling. See, the thing that people are most afraid about is the exact reason why I bet you clicked on this video in the first place. And that's because spiders can bite. See, most spiders use venom to subdue their prey and defend themselves. And it's something that makes a lot of people really uneasy. One of the things I do here as a wildlife educator is I try to help people get over their spider fears, just like I did. I was, I was afraid of spiders once upon a time, and now I'm literally letting myself get bitten by one. Over the past couple years working with spiders, I've handled dozens of species, and I have never once received a bite. Today I'm ending that streak, and the spider that's gonna end it is the cellar spider. All right, so what I've gotten here is actually a pretty decent sized cellar spider. Now this little arachnid has a lot of controversy around it, and it's rumored to be the deadliest arachnid on the planet, but have fangs too small to actually puncture human skin. Now, in the scientific community, that's largely dismissed as a myth, but I wanna see it to believe it. So I'm actually gonna attempt a bite today, and we're gonna see what it does to me and whether or not you should be concerned if you find a spider like this in your house. I wanna go on record here and say first that uh, what you're about to see, don't don't try this at home. Um, I don't think any of you are crazy enough to go out and get bitten by a spider, um, but just in case one or, one or two of you are, um, don't, don't do this. All right, it's time for the moment of truth. I think we're gonna take this spider out and we're gonna take a bite. Okay, these guys, really do not like the light. So I'm gonna have to go in with force. Oh, wow, well, he is really angry. I'm trying to get your legs, buddy, without hurting you. These these spiders are just so flighty. They, they have this crazy creeping movement, but they're actually surprisingly fast. Catching one leg, let alone several, without hurting the spider is proving to be really difficult. All right, I got two of his legs here. I think, that might be a good enough grip. Oh, we got one loose. Okay, so what I'm gonna do instead, switch hands. Legs, couple legs. Ah, am I nervous? Um, I would definitely say this is something that I wouldn't normally do. I wouldn't uh, normally go out of my way to get bitten by a spider. I guess I'm nervous, but also curious is the best way to describe it. I am, um, my curiosity to see just how bad the cellar spider bite is, uh, is kind of overpowering the fact that I haven't been bitten by a spider and would like to keep it that way. Okay, okay, okay. All right, that'll do. Firm grip on the spider. Okay, now, let's see what she can do. One, two, three. Ooh, yeah, there it was. Well, I felt that. Almost felt like, um, it almost felt like a little buzzing sensation right here on my thumb. So uh, we can definitely say that the, uh, the part of the myth where their fangs can't puncture your skin is false. So um, I'm hoping that the other part about them being deadly is false too. Uh, otherwise I'm in trouble. She also pooped on me. Little is known about cellar spider venom. The myth that they're deadly is largely dismissed as false, but due to ethics and human trials, very little work has been done to actually see what effect this bite has on people. The initial bite was very tame, but the same can be said about the bites of widow and recluse spiders. Little to no symptoms at the time of the bite, but serious symptoms hours later. As I left my bite setup, I was setting off into the unknown, and would monitor my symptoms carefully to see how my body would react. It was time to truly see 
just how dangerous this unassuming little spider actually was. All right, well, it is one day later. No, no symptoms. I can't even see the bite anymore. Uh, I never had any issues with itching or a welt. Sure, it's possible that I got a dry bite. That's always, that's always a poss possibility. You know, the thing about the, the spider's venom is it's designed for killing small flying insects, the kind of things that, you know, would actually be able to get tangled in a cobweb, moths, flies. Um, I've seen them take down stink bugs. The cellar spider really just does not have that toxic of a venom. I'm sure if you had enough of it, it could kill a person. You know, just as enough of anything could kill you. But I don't think that the amount of venom that would be yielded in even a really nasty cellar spider bite would do that much to you. One day out from receiving the cellar spider bite, I can I can pretty much guarantee the cellar spider is not only capable of biting you, but it is not deadly. And the myth about the daddy long legs is totally busted. So you might be wondering, if this myth is totally busted, then why do so so many people believe it, and why is it still so prevalent? And, you know, I actually have a few thoughts about that. A deadly bite, but fangs too small to puncture your skin. There's kind of this, this mystery and fear about the daddy long legs. And, you know, I'll give it that. Um, even as spider standards go, and a lot of spiders are pretty creepy looking, the daddy long legs is exceptionally creepy looking. Um, but its 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 body actually resembles that of a spider that really can mess you up, that shares a similar habitat. See, the daddy long legs, the cellar spider, is a spindly, tan spider with three clusters of eyes in the front of its face, and dark markings on its cephalothorax and abdomen. It can be confused for the appearance of a brown recluse, which is a medically significant spider. And I think the myth came about from a combination of people being afraid of these spiders, confusing them for brown recluses, and if I had to be honest, probably pest control uh, services trying to get them to buy extra products to get rid of cellar spiders in their home. But the brown recluse is actually a pretty interesting case too. If you wanna see if the brown recluse is actually deadly, I've got a video right here where I tested that out down in Louisiana. And if you wanna see part one of this experiment where I tested to see if a harvestman was venomous, check out this video right here. Stay curious and I'll see you then.